Hey, Keith Van Wimmer, Van Tech Consulting. I'd like to welcome you to the channel. If this is your first visit, we appreciate you stopping by. If you're a current subscriber, we appreciate you subscribing and supporting the channel. Today we're going to talk about these guys. These are um, pond splitters, so used in passive optical networking. And uh, this is a 1x4, so you have one input and four outputs. This guy here is a 1x16, so this is not very exciting stuff, but that's it. That's the splitter. It's all buried in this little uh, epoxy kind of block. So this is a 1x16. Again, we're going to talk about this and, and how to calculate loss across these. And this kind of ties in with our uh, series that we're working on, which is the understanding loss budget. So this is an important part of of your calculation when you're working in PON is to understand what the light split is and how it affects your uh, your budget. So I'm going to pop over to the computer, um, try and uh, bore you with some PowerPoint here, and then uh, we'll come back. So what is a splitter? A splitter is just a passive device and they're used obviously in passive optical networking. And then what makes them passive is it does not require any type of power or anything other than light going in one end and comes out the other end. So keep in mind that when we talk about PON, X-PON, so G-PON, B-PON, A-PON, uh, next-gen PON, NG, uh, XG-PON, 10 gig, um, you know, all this wonderful fun stuff, it plays an integral role because it's one to many um, as far as the light. So the same light serves, uh, according to standards, up to 128 customers. The max split that I've ever seen is about 64. Typical is about 32. This is a um, just an eight port splitter here. So <clears throat> when we think about this, what does it do? So this is a laser and that laser's sitting there and it's putting out 100% and for our exercise, we're gonna do zero dBm. So dBm, remember, is an absolute value where dB is a relative number between two absolutes, okay? So it's putting out 100% zero dBm. And as it goes out and it hits that first split, and this is what we're talking about specifically are what are called planar splitters. And so, 50% of the light goes to the top, 50% goes to the bottom. So we have a, a two by split right now. And whenever you split, 50% drop in power is represented by three dB drop. If you went up by three dB, you would have 100% increase in your power. So now we have one split and it goes down and it hits another split. Again, 50% of this light goes that way and the 50% goes this way, giving us 25% of our light. We split again, 50%, 50% gives us 12 and a half, so 50% of our 25. And that's our third split, providing eight ports. We split it again. Again, we have 16 ports now, so we've doubled the eight. This is our fourth split we have 6.25% remaining. And then our final split on this is a 32 port splitter, right? And this is split number five. So that leaves us 3% of the overall light that happened here. So how is this represented? So we have five splits here and each split represents three dB. So we have 15 dB of loss between the input and the output, meaning that at this point in the splitter, we would have a negative 15 dBm, all right? So again, each split costs us three dB, which is 50% of the power, so the five splits are costing us the 15 dB. According to the PON standard, we need, at the ONT, down at this end, we need a neg 29 minimum at the side of the house. But from an engineering aspect and network management aspect, we're gonna take a couple dB off of that. So what we'll say is we're gonna have minus 27 dB is our minimum number that we want down here. Our OLT again is launching at zero dBm and that gives us a 27 dB power budget. So from zero to neg 27. So when we think about this, what do we have to play with? We have 27 dB minus the 15 dB we lose in the splitter, right? That leaves us 12 dB to get through our network. 
So if we had something like 15 kilometers of fiber, 10 splices, four mated pairs of connectors, that basically costs us 9 dB, right? Leaving a 3 dB headroom. And that's plus, uh, you know, minus or plus the, the 2 dB margin that we have. So again, you know, you have to look at this whole thing and understand first off how the splitters work. Again, for each split, two, four, eight, 16, 32, or two doubling um, of, the, of the ports or the outputs, we lose 3 dB. So again, if we had a, a 64 port splitter, that would leave us um, one and a half dB. And that would give us um, another 3 dB. So rather than 15, we'd be losing 18 dB. All right. So that's kind of how splitters work. And that's a simple, um, simple explanation. Now, I recommend that we have our, our videos. It's a two part series on um, calculating loss budgets, what we just did here, um, you know, with all the fiber types and so on and so forth, and how to get around that uh, and come to these numbers. So, anyway, if you're interested, click on that. We hope you found this informative and uh, gained some useful information out of it. Again, if you're a uh, current subscriber, we appreciate you supporting the channel. If you're not subscribed, we ask that you consider subscribing, hitting the bell, doing all that fun YouTube stuff, all right? Anyway, until next time, be safe and thanks for watching.